Leaping Literacy ETV. Come on, let's celebrate creativity with teacher, creature, teachers, and friends old and new. Books and songs from our library for you. Read, sing, open up to see. With me, Lori Story. Welcome, friends. Thanks for coming over to play. Yay, we are going to play vacay today to the beach. Do you like to go to the beach? Do you live near a beach? Well, I live pretty far from the beach, but we can still play in the sand today. Did you ever build a sand castle? Maybe we'll do that. Yes, there are lots and lots of ways to play in the sand. Look who lives in my backyard. Yes, <laughs> our friend the turtle has a surprise inside. Sand! She's full of sand. I can put my feet inside. Hands and feet in the sand. Splash! I can even sit inside. <laughs> sit in the sand. Yes! This helps my imagination grow to take me to the beach. Mm. So many things to find on the beach. It's Lori's story time. Peaches on Beaches, a Lori story book. Peaches on Beaches. Peaches on Beaches. Peaches like to give speeches. Each peach likes to teach. Each peach likes to preach. Each peach likes to reach. Each peach likes to reach another peach on the beach. Each peach likes to reach with their speech to teach or preach. Can you read all the words in Peaches on Beaches? Dixie the Dictionary Duck. <laughs> Have you been having fun? Yes, I love my life. What have you been doing? <gasps> oh, Uncle Fido, I had so much fun. I gotta tell you, tell you, tell you. <laughs> so my people went on a vacation. Ooh. And we went to the beach. And there was all this sand there. And it was so fun. I was like playing Ooh. in the sand. <laughs> Were you digging in the sand Oh, too? yeah, Uncle Fido. I dig, 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 when I went to the beach once, I loved it too. Yeah, I could run and I could dig. Oh, it was great. <laughs> did you go in the water? I did go in the water. Big waves. Ooh. Ooh. You know, that's called the ocean. Oh, the ocean. Hmm. I thought my people called it the sea. Well, that's another name that they call it, too. Sometimes two words have the same meaning. Yeah, like I see you, but you're not the ocean. Right. <laughs> There's other ways of saying the same sound, but have a different meaning. Oh, yeah. Well, then the sea, also, the beach was something about the sea, like, um... Um, do you know what that is? It's like, um, hmm, it was another word with sea, but it wasn't beach. It wasn't sea beach. It was, um, oh, seashore. 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 Yes, because the shore is right at the edge of the ocean. Oh. And so if it's the seashore, it's where the ocean meets the land. Oh. Well, I loved it. And you know what? I love telling you about it. It's like I'm almost know. like I'm there all over again. You know. <laughs> I think that's a good thing about memories. Yeah, because you remember. Yeah, 
and it's almost like being there all over again. Yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> I love it, and I love you. And I love you. And I love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 <laughs> She's zippy and zany in every way. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma K. I'm back from vacation at the Caribbean and I've got a surprise to show you. Would you like to see it? Yes! Ooh. Well, here it's in my hat. Ooh. Look what I have. <gasps> a shell. And you find this in the Caribbean. Some people say Caribbean, but it's part of the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, where I had a vacation. Be did you know that this shell used to be the home of an animal called a conch? And it lived inside of here. And then people found it and then they pulled it out and ate it for dinner. Kind of like our snails in the garden. There's little creatures that live in there that they say are delicious. I didn't eat it. But the creature that lived there, the conch, made its own home. Isn't that amazing? That this animal, kind of like a snail, would make this beautiful shell and live in it in the ocean in what we call the Caribbean, where I went for a vacation. So all the shells that you can get have had animals live in them. And they take the minerals out of the water to make their shells. My goodness, that's amazing because we don't take minerals out of the air and make our homes, but these animals do. The sea and the ocean and the Caribbean are so amazing. Just magical things happen that we can learn about and enjoy. Thanks for sharing this with me about my vacation in the Caribbean and this beautiful shell that I brought back from a conch. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma K. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma K. Thank you, Grandma K. Oh, Grandma K always has so many gifts to bring us. Also, the ocean and the beach have endless gifts for us. Do you know that the sand can even bring us the gift of peace? Here's a sand mandala that we have on our front porch. And it's great for just running your fingers through. I have uh, hidden and found little bits of treasure in the sand over the years. Here's a beautiful rock uh, that a young artist made, living in my sand mandala. Now, sometimes a sand mandala is a very intricate, beautiful piece of work, of artwork, a mandala. But a mandala can just be a circle. It can just be a place where you make circles, like this. The mandala can also be a great place to bring your crabbies, your grumpies, your worries. Anything that doesn't feel like peace inside your body can come to more peace by bringing it to the sand. So I'm just running my fingers through the sand and letting my friends remind me of my err crabbies. And I'm breathing through them. I'm feeling the sand between my fingers, knowing that everything passes through. Just like the sand passes through our fingers. This too shall pass, I tell myself, when I am feeling worried or crabby. Yes, 
this too shall pass. It's Lori Story Time. More Store Seashore, a Lori Story Book. I was sitting by the seashore when up swam a big albacore. And riding on this albacore was a tiny dinosaur. Yes, there was a dinosaur on that albacore. I said, hey, dinosaur, what are you here for? Well, you see, said the dinosaur, I was looking for a store. I was looking to buy clothes. I need more because the other clothes I wore were ripped and they tore. I can't wear them anymore. So I'm looking for more on this seashore. Do you know where there's a store? I don't mean to be a bore, but that is what I'm here for. A clothes store. Hey, wait. I see a door. And behind this door is a drawer. And in this drawer is a tiny seashore. And on this tiny seashore, there is a store that sells more and more and more. A more store. And in this more store that sells more and more and more, I can get more clothes for the ones I wore and tore. As for you, person on the shore, you now know more about dinosaur, albacore, seashore, more store folklore. Can you read all the words in More Store Seashore? Foul. A more store on the seashore? <laughs> that is some imaginative fun. But when I think about more and more and more and more, makes me think of garbage. You know, the more we get, the more we have to throw away. And remember, there is no away. When we throw it away, it has to go somewhere. And unfortunately, it all too often lands in our oceans. Yes, unfortunately true, so much garbage lands in our oceans, in our seas, and garbage makes our seas sick. Up comes the seaweed, up comes the shells, 
Well, that song is also some imaginative fun. Unfortunately, though, it's all too true. A lot of the garbage that lands in our seas is plastic. Every single day, 8 million tons of plastic land in our oceans. That means that every single minute, like a garbage truck full of plastic is going into our oceans. Ugh. No, no, no. So, so, so. <laughs> we have to be able to do something about the oh, no, no. So, there is luckily a lot of things we can do. Even as one person, we can make that difference. An important thing is to just look at all the plastic that goes through our hands and in our lives. Try to use less plastic, especially less single-use plastic bottles. Some of the worst. And yes, person by person, it does seem sort of impossible to make a difference. Although I believe that we have no choice but to make that difference. Luckily, there are huge uh, corporations, organizations like Ocean Conservancy and Ocean Cleanup who are doing some amazing things using science and the power of the imagination to bring about new changes. We are going to be spending some more time with them in our Sea Splash shows coming up. But do visit them online. Go to their websites and check out what they are doing to make a big difference. I'm so happy to be me. I'm so happy living in the sea. I'm so happy just to be. Wow, what a beautiful song. Oh, who are you? I'm Bubbles. Who are you? I, I'm Phyllis <gasps> the Starfish. Oh, hi Phyllis. You sure are beautiful and you seem so happy. Oh, I am so happy living in the coral. <gasps> oh, I used to live in the coral, but my coral oh. died. Oh, that's so sad. What happened then? Well, the water got really warm and the coral all died and then all my friends, they... They saw what I really looked like, and then they weren't my friends anymore. What didn't they like? These. Oh. I guess I, I, I kind of see them on you. Yes, I have five arms. Do you have five arms? I think I do. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, <gasps> I got five arms like you, Phyllis. Oh, well, you know, you could live here with me in the coral. <gasps> really? I could live here? Yes. I would love that. Oh, I would love that too. I'm so happy just to be. I'm so happy living in the sea. I'm so happy, happy me. Yes, there is so much wonderful life to think about under the sea and on the beach. Let's take our imaginations back to the sand now with the color cloud. Let's build a color castle where we can color zoom from room to room to room to room to room. Story, story time. Color cloud castle, a Lori story book with the color cloud. I was sitting, just sitting in the sand. When the color cloud came and sat in my hand saying, I am here, I am here, here I am in the sand, here I am in your hand. We can build a color castle, the color cloud said. Just take colors like purple, blue, and red and drop them, plop them from your hand. Drop them, plop them in the sand. Scoop sand, scoop sand, build your castle high. Scoop sand, scoop sand.
stand, build your castle to the sky. See what you can build if you just try? Look at all those colors that came from your hand. Look at all those colors sitting in the sand. Join us in our Leaping Literacy Library and commercial-free ETV for the full Color Cloud Castle Lori Store Rebook, as well as the full segment coming up next with Building Your Own Color Cloud Castle. Yes, let's make a color castle! We can even color zoom from room to room like we did with the color cloud. <laughs> you know, making a color cloud castle or any kind of a color castle is whatever you want to make it. You can plan your colors. You can make them random. You can use intentions because, you know, colors all have a vibration. Colors all have meaning. So I'm going to just very playfully make this castle with you today, but I want you to dream something, okay? I want you to put a dream into this castle with me. And then as I add colors of intention, see if you can add those intentions to your dream. All right, I wanna save a little tippy top at the top for more happy. Remember, yellow for happy. All right, we got more happy at the top. Oh, and we're overflowing. We're overflowing with happy overflowing with our colors, overflowing with our dream. So however you want to make a color castle for your dream, you can do it in your imagination. You can find some colored sand or make some colored sand with salt or sugar. You can do that, Google it up. <laughs> but whatever you do, make sure that you do give your dream some time and energy, some color, some love. Let it grow. Let it expand. Give it your happy love power. And any dream can be your color tower going out into the world. Yay! Thanks for being here today, friends, to build a color castle and to zoom and to sing and to dream and to think of the clean dream for our mother sea. Yes, friends, thanks so much for being here. We'll see you again real soon for more sea splashing, leaping literacy library fun. Leaping Literacy